All right, we are finally back in business with this park after what two whole months? Yeah, I, I apologize for、uh, leaving this out so long because、uh, you know I was working on two fairly big videos at the same time, so I kind of didn't want to overwhelm myself and stuff. But now we're back, and we can finally begin work on the right side of the park. So I've kind of planned out this plot of land. I'm gonna put a somewhat small coaster in these two tiles of land. I think that'll be a good way to start things off here. All right, let's get to it. Oh, oh wow! There's a lot of new coaster types here. Wow. Oh, is that a wooden coaster? I see. You know, this park could really use one of those. Yeah, I think、uh, there's a mine train coaster there. I think I'll leave that for like the back corner of the park when I get to there. But yeah, honestly, the wooden coaster is one of the most flexible coaster types. It works for any size, really. Okay, I I think that's a good spot for it. Yep, we'll go with that. Now I have not built a traditional coaster in this game in ages, so hopefully I'm not too rusty. All right, here we go.
Okay, uh, let me get myself out of there first. There we go. I am bad with my positioning in this game at times. Okay, uh, where do I want to put the entrance? I don't think I can put it on the other side. Uh, no, no, I definitely can't. So, yeah, I'll just put it here then. And I'll put the exit here. Okay. Oh, boy. This is... This is quite the track layout, but it does show a little bit of promise. It already looks like it's going to be better than Bronco. God, I did not give a crap when making that coaster. Anyway, I'm not going to test it just yet. I'm going to do some terraforming. Can't just have people phasing in and out the ground. I honestly wasn't expecting coaster building to be affected by the disabled collisions pass, but I guess it does make things a bit easier. Okay, I'm gonna have to go a bit deeper there. Oop, a little more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one more downward should do it. All right, there we go. Okay, that's good. Now I'll just get the rest. Eh. Terraforming is real fun and interesting, am I right? Eh. No worries, it'll be over in a few moments. Yeah. yeah, I think I'll make these ones slopes. Yeah, they look nicer that way. All right, other side, then we can get out of here. Okay, that's good. By the way, I just noticed parts of the track disappear when they're banked. That would explain those two spots in the chicane there. Still, it looks pretty weird. Anyway, let's get out of here. All right, there's one spot we still have to do quickly. I made this part the way I did to see if I can replicate the water splash section on the wooden coaster in Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'm not 100% sure if the tracks can go underwater, but the disabled collisions pass made them go underground, so maybe. Yeah, before we do that though, let's do some block manipulating back at the pit. Hmm, that looks pretty low. Yeah, that kind of looks like people's... Yeah. Yeah, people's heads are definitely gonna go through that. So, yeah, that's gotta go. Um, you know, you know what? Everything around here can be one block higher in general. But we'll get to that later. And I think I'll leave the water for a bit too. It's time to give this a test run. Hopefully the friction won't be too high. Cause some of those succeeding heels look pretty tall. Get in there, damn it! thank you. I saw a ghost image there, by the way. It's kind of pointless if you ask me. I don't really care where I sit on these rides. Ugh, I probably should have made the chain lift faster. Oh well, we're almost there. All right, here we go. Will it make it over? Ooh, oh, it looks like... Oh, that, that made it through quite nicely, actually. What about the next one? Yeah, that... That was pretty good too. Oh, will that hit my head? Oh, just barely. I'm okay with that. There's nothing wrong with a few head chopper elements, as long as they don't, well, you know. Now, how well will the second half go? Hmm, that's, that's not too bad so far. And going into the water splash, if it actually becomes a water splash, that is. All right, this bit. Ooh, oh wow, that, that's pretty slow. <laughs> My character's just shaking his head there. Oh, even inside the game, I'm not impressed with this. <laughs> oh boy. Well, testing's over. Let's see if the ratings are any good. Oh wow, that's, that's actually not bad. Dare I say it's pretty good. Like, already it's better than Bronco, and that one's been heavily scenerized. It's especially higher than Tornado over there, which strangely doesn't have a train at the moment. <laughs> wow, barely six. I can see this one reaching seven in its current form, unlike Peregrine Falcon over there. Ugh, stupid filters. But yeah, I'm probably gonna redesign this whole last bit because honest to God, it looks horrible right now. Anyway, let's see if this splash section will work. Ah, yes, it worked. Well, at least I know that it works. If I do end up changing this last bit, I'll find a way to retain the element. Anyway, let's do the pathways. 
And hopefully I won't take too long to find the ones I like. Okay, uh, Q lines. Ah, that didn't take so long. Okay, uh, I think I'll do something a little bit dynamic. I like dynamic Q paths. And I'm totally not doing it because of the coaster track there. That's totally not what I'm doing. I'm definitely gonna find a different way to scenerize the area around this Q line. Okay, and I'm not gonna stop there. There we go. I like this. Yeah, losing the supports there. Whatever, I don't really care right now. Okay, that should be good. And now for the exit. No, what are you doing? There we go. Okay, now for the exit. If I if I can just find the path I want. Ugh, my head's hurting right now. I am the absolute worst when it comes to finding paths in this game. Uh, okay, there we go, legacy paths. And bingo, pebbles. Ah, oh, finally. That took way, way too long. Right then, let's start getting this thing connected. Eh, limited space there. Going right underneath there. There we go. That elevated corner there is probably the one part I'll keep. Now, for the hard part. Oh boy. This is gonna be tricky. I don't think I left myself a, a lot of options when I built this part by the log flume. Oh yeah, yeah, there's not much I can work with. No, I can't go through here. I, I don't want to anyway. That one tall wide space right there by the shack is looking like my best option, but there's a lot of scenery in the way that I'll have to delete. You know, I just noticed something. There's a lot of slopage going around the perimeter of the ride, and it's just asking for a pathway. So you know what? Screw it. I'm doing this. Yeah, I still hate how one tile terraforming does this, though. <sighs> okay, last one. Okay, and now just the slopage, and then I don't have to worry about it. I'll probably have to delete the scenery by myself, though. Yep. And I don't think pathways can overwrite scenery pieces like in Roller Coaster Tycoon, either. I'm gonna have to do a lot of manual deleting, won't I? So be it. I can always redo the scenery in a different spot. Alright then. Oh, for God's sakes, why? Ah. Alright. Now, uh, Pebbles, here we go. Alright then. Let's test it. Yep, why am I not surprised? Right, this may take a few moments. I'll get that too. Sorry about that, mate. Alright. One bit at a time. Man, all those pieces of scenery placed there, just to be deleted for a new pathway. And an absolute shit ton of that. You know what, I'm gonna try and speed this up. All right, one more stretch left, and then it's done. All right, finally. That did not feel good at all. But what's done is done. Now we can finish the connection. I'm gonna cut the crap here. And hoop. There we go. And I'll get rid of that cacti. Uh-huh. And I'm not gonna bother with terrain here because I've got disabled coll- Oops, wrong one. Yeah, I've got disabled collisions, which is really, really powerful, honestly. And boy, do I sound excited right now. <laughs> oh, man. How's the log flume excitement? Yep, still below six. Whatever, it's a log flume. I'm not fussed. Anyway, this new pathway honestly doesn't look half bad. It'll look a lot better once I re-scenerize the area. That area of land there has looked empty since I started the series. Anyway, now's a good time to open the coaster. And now we wait for the first guest to come. If they ever come, that is. Uh, I don't see any. Well, while we late, let's uh, have a look at the area and maybe plan out the scenery. I think just going by the rocks below the uh, first helix, I think uh, I think the area at the corner is just gonna be rock formation. A lot of park makers in Roller Coaster Tycoon tend to do that with the Mine Train Coaster, which I will get to later on at the other corner. Hmm, still waiting on the guests, so uh, I think I'll paint the terrain around here. There we go, sand, and 
I think I'll also cover the, uh, the land in the corner. Yeah, just cause. Yeah, it'll hardly matter in the long run, anyway. Hmm. You know, it's just not as satisfying to paint terrain here as in Roller Coaster Tycoon. And it's kind of a pain in the ass at times. Ugh, like now. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? God. I'm honestly not a fan of terraforming in general in this game. Unless I'm sculpting or doing block manipulation. Hopefully the stuff I'll do for this coaster will be uh, at least interesting. In fact, I know some ways it could be interesting. Once I get there. Ugh, come on, be over already. Jeez, this is driving me mad. Ugh, almost there. Mm. Come on. There we go, finally. Ugh. Alright, is anyone coming? Don't see what. Oh, here comes someone. Man, guests take their sweet ass time in finding rides in this game. New rides, that is. Oh, look, there's people on the ride. Huh, must have missed them. Anyway, plans for the following episodes. I'm probably gonna build uh, something like uh, splash boats further down the land, and redesign the second half of this coaster since I'll have more land. And in the following episode, I'll scenerize the areas around both rides, so I can kill two birds with one stone. So yeah, that should be the way to go. So until next time, Baneworth out. Yeah.